So back in the day, I literally would grab that sold sign and I'd hold it up in front of the house. And I mean, was I selling a bunch of houses? Not really, but when I did, man, it was like, boom, boom, boom. Today we're reacting to the show, My First Home. But there's a crazy plot twist. You may not have known this about me, but my wife and I were actually on the show 11 years ago. All right. So according to their website, My First Home is a show that follows prospective buyers, like ourselves, as they try to find the perfect home. Sometimes they discover homes, sometimes they discover money pits, and you know what? They discover some that are definitely worth buying. So, you're gonna learn a lot about the real estate market in the process, or do you actually learn a lot? Today I'm reacting and letting you know all the real estate and production secrets of My First Home. But before we get into that, I'm real estate expert Mark Magston, and I created this channel to help you with all of your real estate needs. If you have any questions about buying or selling the price of your home, please subscribe to my channel and I'll get in touch with you. All right, let's watch my first home featuring me and my wife Mary. Mark and Mary have decided to take their relationship to the next level. So they're buying a home together. Man, that is classic. I think Mary actually made me burn that tank top based on me doing those uh, push-ups in the park. <laughs> buying a home together. So we've been together two years, so we figure it's time to advance a relationship. And Mary thinks she's found the best realtor in the biz, her boyfriend, Mark. I am gonna teach Mary. She's got a lot to learn about the buying process. So back in the day, I literally would grab that sold sign and I'd hold it up in front of the house. And I mean, was I selling a bunch of houses? Not really, but when I did, man, it was like boom, boom, boom. When Mary decides to teach Mark a thing or two. I just want what I want. So the funny part about that, we said that. We filmed the show 11 years ago. We said, I want what I want probably 700 times over the next three weeks, her friends would call and be like, hey Mary, what do you want to do for dinner? And she goes, I want what I want. So, <laughs> it takes me back. To make the grade? Why not look at it? This, this place is, so is perfect. Expensive. We can't afford this. I promise I'll find you the right house. Find me my house. Or is this home hunt destined for failure? But Something died in here. <laughs> the funny part about that house, I wish we would have bought that house. It did stink. It was horrible but full size lot. It was a big, beautiful property and it's probably worth two and a half million dollars now. And moving with Mary. PB's a kind of, you know, bigger city. PB's a bigger city? The, I don't know. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. What, what Mary's trying to say, more or less, obviously. Listen, yeah, he's a professional. Well, I don't we, know what I'm talking about. You gotta love the bloopers. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, Mary actually had two or three margaritas before we filmed this episode of the show. So that literally was right when we first started. She was a little embarrassed, camera shy, whatnot. I'm like, I'll just roll with it, but that was great. San Diego couple Mark Magstat and Mary Wallace have been together for two years. She gets along with everyone. She's got a great personality, she's fun. He's very outgoing and just always looks on the bright side of everything. We have a good time together. And they are stoked to look for a home in the Pacific Beach neighborhood of San Diego. Life's good in San Diego. A lot of fun outdoor activities, great people. You know what's so funny is like PB, Pacific Beach. You know, it's known for like active lifestyle. There's beaches, there's boardwalks, there's surfing. There's a strip called Garnet, which has bars, restaurants, shops, coffee shops, tattoo parlors, you name it, it has it. So I was drawn to that, Mary was drawn to that just because of the active, fun lifestyle. I mean, you kind of had everything within this little fun ecosystem. All right, so the funny part about it, I was born and raised in Anchorage, Alaska. So when I saw that America's finest city had like 300 days of sunshine, I was like, count me in. And then obviously the funny part about it, Mary was from Northern California in Ventura area. So she was kind of used to it, but she was drawn to San Diego as well. She came down here to go to college. Mark currently lives in his three bedroom bachelor pad with his roommate, Oscar. And Mary has been sharing a two bedroom rental in San Diego with her best friend. All right, so I have to say something funny. So that gentleman, Oscar Veal, that was my roommate. We were, we were roommates in college in Oregon. Then we moved to San Diego at different times. We were roommates in San Diego for seven years. So Mary was kind of like, all right, we, I'm, <laughs> she's like, is Oscar gonna move if we move in with us if we buy this pad? I was like, no, Oscar's got to go. Sorry, Oscar. 
and now the couple is excited to move in together. So we've been together two years, so we figure it's time to advance a relationship. I've been living with Oscar off and on for the last 19, 20 years, so I feel it's time to move on and grow up. <laughs> and Mary thinks so she's true. found the best realtor in town. I think it's to my advantage and to his advantage that Mark's a realtor and we're buying the house together. He's obviously looking out for us, our best interest, so I feel very good. Mark has purchased a few investment properties over the years, but this will be his first real home. So the funny part about it is that I, I do own a couple of real estate investments which have been incredible. The sad part about that is I sold about three or four of those along the way. So I'm gonna tell you this. If you can keep and hold real estate, if you don't need to sell it, I mean, I made $80,000 on a property. Okay, everyone's like, oh my gosh, that's so much money. That property today, if I would have kept it, it would be paid for and it would probably be worth around a million bucks. So if you can hold real estate and don't have to sell it, hold it. And as a real estate expert, he's looking forward to showing Mary the ropes. I trust his opinion. I mean, he's been doing this for 12 years. There's going to be some things that she definitely will need to learn and that she's going to be learning as we go. Mark's done well with his investment properties, so the couple has saved up $180,000 as a down payment. And they've pre-qualified for a $900,000 loan, but Mary wants to keep their payments low. You know, considering the economy... So I mean, the, the funny part about this is they made me seem like I was the big baller, extravagant, I need this huge mansion, but you know what? That's not the, <laughs> the reality of it. 500,000 and below. So Mark has Mary over to his place to get the ball rolling. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. You excited? Yeah, super excited. Wow, where are you guys yeah. looking, anywhere? I think, you know, starting PB and, and just see what happens. Oscar's got some pizza ready, but why don't we write down a list of the things that we really want in the property? Okay. Breaking it down is always a good idea because that way you can weigh the pros and cons of what you want in the house. So before we jump into this, that is a wonderful, wonderful scenario. First off, you want to get pre-approved. You want to make sure that you can afford the property and or if you're paying cash, but also the pros and cons of what you're looking for kind of give your dream wish list and then we work based on that. Pros and cons of what you want in the house. All right. So, you know, the amount of biking, running, stuff like that that we do, mm -hmm. I think it's important that we have a great location and be by the water. Okay. I also definitely would like a garage. I totally agree with that. I just want what I want. And I want, you know, a new kitchen, <laughs> granite countertops, new appliances, at least two bedrooms, two bath, hardwood floors. I think helicopter that's... landing pad. Yeah, helicopter landing okay. pad. Yeah, yeah. You know, solar would be great. We could be a little green. Well, we'll go green. I okay. agree. So I mean, the funny part about this is like selling real estate. We, you, you love to hear what people want, but then when you ask them, there's some people that are so detail oriented and 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 analytical that they give you a list of like 50 things. And I'm like, listen, I, I don't want to work through, you know, from Chula Vista to Carlsbad, you know, all these different things. So realistically, it, it's good to narrow it down to at least a zip code and then also kind of basic parameters. That way it opens it up and you can see more stuff. But then you don't want to be too broad that you're looking at 700 houses. I'm worried about is if we get everything that we want and we're close to the water, it's going to be like 750,000, 800,000. I think that's way too much for us. I want to stick to like five, 550. I don't want a huge mortgage. I don't want us to be tied down, you know? I'll enter a bunch of things into the computer. Okay. All the parameters that you have. I'll enter a bunch of things into the computer, so I'm just like, eh. Now, realistically, what, what we do is you just go in, there's a program, and you, you put in specific parameters. Bedrooms, bath, square footage, minimum price, location, how big a lot, zip codes, and then that'll, that'll tell you what's available in the market, which are a lot and uh, we'll go from there. Obviously selling real estate here, I have a good feel of the exact areas where I wanna be. The main thing is location. I wanna be close to the water, close to the bay. So with a solid plan in place, Mark spends the next few days looking for properties. And later that week, he finds something just a few blocks from the ocean that needs work, but is a great price for the neighborhood. It's huge. It needs a tiny bit of work. I love that tiny bit of work. We, we, we call that a fixture or scraper or it needs everything. Okay. <laughs> it's that. It's mm -hmm. excellent. A tiny bit. <laughs> the landscaping well, looks like just, more than a tiny yeah, bit. Yeah, but work, imagine but... this all cleaned up. And look at it. Yeah, it's like a booby jungle. trap, jungle fever. <laughs> wow. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. It's pretty run down. Well, it, but... we call this a cosmetic fixer. 
I am gonna teach Mary the specifics about the housing market here in Pacific Beach. Huh. All right, so this first house that we looked at was in North Pacific Beach. It was a four bedroom, two and a half bath that was about 2,300 square feet. It had a pool and also a full size lot. So a full size lot in Pacific Beach is about 6,200 square feet. And this was a nice corner lot. So it had a lot of options.